Hello everyone, Ebai here. As the Internet of Things, IoT, is growing at an astonishing rate, there is a lot of interest and confusion about the low-power wireless protocols in IoT devices available today. There are many wireless technologies in IoT applications, such as Zigbee, LoRa, etc. Today we are going to talk about Zigbee versus LoRa. What is Zigbee? Zigbee is a standards-based wireless technology designed to enable low-cost, low-power wireless machine-to-machine, M2M, and IoT networks. What is LoRa? LoRa, long-range radio, technology is a new wireless protocol designed for long-range, low-power communication, which is also aimed at M2M and IoT networks. Zigbee vs. LoRa Both Zigbee and LoRa technology are used in IoT networks, so do you know the difference between them? Zigbee is a low-power LAN protocol based on the IEEE 802.15.4 standard. Zigbee technology has the characteristics of short distance, low complexity, low power consumption, low speed, and low cost. LoRa is a variety of wireless technologies for IoT applications, which can form a local area network or a wide area network. LoRa technology has the characteristics of long distance, low power consumption, long battery life, multi-node, low cost, and so on. How does Zigbee slash LoRa work? Zigbee sends commands between smart home devices, such as from a smart speaker to a light bulb, or from a switch to a light bulb, without going through a central control hub, such as a Wi-Fi router. This signal can also be sent and understood by the receiving device, no matter which manufacturer produces it. As long as they both support Zigbee, they can understand the same language. Zigbee operates as a mesh network, which means commands can be sent between devices connected to the same Zigbee network. In theory, each device acts as a node, receiving and transmitting data to each other device, helping the instruction data to spread further. The mesh structure of the Zigbee network also means that there is no single point of failure in the network. For example, if your home is full of Zigbee-compatible smart light bulbs, you probably want them all to be lit at the same time. If one of them doesn't work, the grid ensures that commands will also be able to pass through to every other light bulb in the network. LoRa, as a narrowband wireless technology, how does it work? LoRa uses time difference of arrival to achieve geolocation. To understand how LoRa positioning works, let's take a look at the data transfer steps from the end node to the server. When any LoRa terminal device sends a packet, it will be received by all gateways within its network range, and each packet will be reported to the network server. All gateways are the same, they are always receiving signals at all data rates on all channels. For example, in tunnel engineering and construction projects, monitoring points are often spread over several kilometers, and operators need to transmit data over long distances through devices that require very little power and do not rely on signal coverage. Zigbee vs. LoRa Technology in Smart Home Zigbee entered the smart home field earlier than LoRa, and formed an ecological chain of a certain scale. Common application scenarios of Zigbee include smart home, smart measurement, and smart agriculture. LoRa technology is applied to smart city, smart home, smart building, smart environmental monitoring, smart measurement, smart agriculture, smart industry, smart retail, smart logistics, smart security, smart fire protection, etc. Especially in the smart home, LoRa makes the application scenarios extend seamlessly from indoor to outdoor and even the whole community. So, which one is better? It depends on how you will use them. You can click it to follow us. See you in the next video.